So we're here in uh, Charlotte Amalie Harbor in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. It's a Christmas Eve, and I was thinking that I should do a video about some small little parts that we use or small little items that we found that we thought were fantastic for the cruising world. They're not promoted. Um, they're just things that I have found that I like. And the first is this Remington kit for hair cutting and body grooming. The old one I had was from Braun and I didn't like it at all. It, it just didn't work for some reason. It didn't catch the hair properly and it, it never cut it off. So you'd, you'd run around forever. It would never work. Um, Wendy used this yesterday to give me my current haircut. <laughs> and find the, part of the other reason why I, I, you need something like this if you're a cruising sailor is that um, finding, finding barbers um, for a white guy in the islands is virtually impossible. And you see it kind of on your own to get your own haircut. And you can give yourself a soup bowl haircut if you want, but it's nice if you have the proper tools, proper tools to do it right. Um, that's the one item. Um, this, and by the way, for for facial hair, I, I use I do use a Braun um, electric razor, and that one, the Series Three, I've been very very happy with. It's worked for years. Uh, it's waterproof, and that helps um, here in the islands. Uh, it's it's um, I haven't used a razor since. I was in the banking industry on a trading floor many, 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 many hundreds of years ago, um, and I, uh, in in that case, I was I was using a, a razor, uh, but um, that was the days of wool suits and starched white shirts and ties. No longer part of my wardrobe. Okay, next item down here on our dinghy, dingy Ed. Um, you'll notice that we have. A planing plate, um, a hydrofoiling planing plate, and that is a Permatrim um, product. Uh, it was not particularly expensive. I think it was about ninety dollars. I, I mail ordered it well, during the off season and mounted it, and it has improved the performance of the dinghy unbelievably. We go as faster, faster with a twenty horsepower four-stroke than people with twenty-five and thirty horsepower, um, and that combined with the new dinghy from from um, AB Ribs. Uh, from last year has been just just a, a great great um, combination runs very very well and um, but it took about I don't know about like less than an hour to put that on including drilling all six holes and if you notice the nuts go on top not on the bottom um, but this thing gets the stern of the dinghy up and prevents porpoising and it just flies like a scalded cat so very very happy with that put one of those on your outboard and you'll and you'll be happy um, great great addition so now on to the third item take a second here we have two of these manual Jabsco toilets and they're the standard of the industry if you don't have a an electric toilet you you'll most likely have one of these and they use the Jabsco um, tower joker valve flapper valve the whole assembly and we discovered that Johnson um, SPX flow line of products um, offered this tower, which we saw in Budget Marine and in St. Martin a bunch of years ago, and I bought one kind of on a whim. And they are interchangeable with the Jabsco in every way. The, the thread is the same on the top for the for the plunger. Um, I think that I know that the um, that the O-rings and the everything else internally is different. Um, uh, the flapper valves and joker valves are not interchangeable, but they do f attach directly to the toilet with no um, need of, of, of a adapting. Uh, and, and the thing about it is these toilet towers work so much better than the Jabsco versions. Um, they really do. They so, so that's something that, I don't know, for 80 or or $100, especially in the U.S., you could get it for pretty inexpensively on eBay. Um, just, just buy some of these and stick them in and make sure you buy the gasket kits and everything else so that you'll have um, spares. But um, we've used this now for over a year with, with no drama. Uh, some, liked it so much I bought another one for the, for the master bedroom. And, um, and that one's improved as well. It just, it just functions better. The, the, the ergonomics of the handle are better. Um, the function of the flapper valve and joker valve is better. And, um, and it doesn't like lock up like these things if you use them for a while they the seals kind of dry up and you need to put uh, plumber's grease on on the on the um, plunger in order to keep it working properly and if and th that happens th that the need for that happens quicker with the jabs co version anyway so good good choices on that um, Bemis um, produces 
this toilet seat that has these kind of rotating collars on the back, um, and those are, are very nice. Um, you can remove the toilet seat for cleaning by hand with no tools, and or if you break it. So that's a cool product too, but that's not really part of my wish list. Well, there you go. Three items that um, I would put on my little wish list for cruisers. Uh, I know it's a little late for Christmas, but you know, just something to think about if you happen to be in the market in your home. You could order something and take it back down with you to your boat. Um, um, they're definite improvements. I uh, just wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of our viewers. Thank you very much for watching us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in 2024. 2024? <laughs> 2024 <laughs> doesn't quite roll off the tongue yet, but no. that's uh, that's the deal. We're, we we love having you, and, um, and and I hope you have a great New Year's as well. Merry Christmas and happy, happy holidays. holidays. Merry Christmas. Yay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us. Take care, everybody. Great New Year.